Hello to uh, members of Eagle Creek. This is Dustin Frost, Assistant Golf Course Superintendent. I'm here with Paul Shannon of Strictly Bees Beesness. He uh, takes care of our uh, bees here. We are on 15, our turf nursery, out on the golf course. Um, this will be our apiary. I'll introduce Paul here. He can explain um, himself and his business and take it away. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Paul Shannon. I'm uh, originally born and raised in New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, you know, finished up school in, in Sanibel, Fort Myers area. Uh, continued my education in FIU over in Miami and uh, started raising bees right out of college. Probably been raising bees for about 10 years now. Uh, created a company called Strictly Beesness where we specialize in um, basically setting up bee programs for golf course communities. Uh, uh, it's very important to uh, raise the honeybee population and I thought uh, golf courses would be a good fit. Perfect. So Paul, um, so speaking of the golf courses, why would we want the bees here specifically for golf courses? Why did you focus that way? Well, you guys have paradise out here. Why wouldn't bees want to be out here? Um, it's very important to, um, you know, help raise the honeybee population. Uh, you guys have a great setup out here and, um, you know, bees are very important. So, uh, it's very good. All right, so we have the bees. Um, we have a flower garden behind us. What else do the bees want to go after? Would they be traveling around the course? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, they actually forage in a three-mile radius. Um, you guys have quite a bit to offer. Uh, along with your wildflowers, you have a very large source of uh, cabbage palm. Uh, being so close to the coast, you have a lot of black mangrove as well along with your uh, salt palmetto, uh, Brazilian pepper. There's a little bit of Malaluca, not much left. Um, but yes, wildflower is a very big one around here. Perfect. Um, now obviously we, we sell this honey. We collect the honey. You, well, you collect the honey. You process it. Um, the members have probably seen it at brunch, seen it in the pro shop. Uh, chef uses it for some delicacies from time to time. Um, if the members have noticed the different color, what does that mean for honey? Different nectar sources. Uh, even your traditional wildflower could range uh, in color from a very clear to a dark brown. So your Brazilian peppers tend to be very light. Uh, your wildflowers tend to be more on the darker side. Uh, your black mangroves very dark and uh, your saw palmetto as well is kind of a medium dark. Uh, along with your variations in color of honey, this is natural honey. It's considered honey in the raw. We do not process it any way, shape, or form. Uh, you don't want to cook out all the good proteins and uh, probiotics that, and the enzymes that are inside raw honey. So uh, because of this, all natural raw honey um, has a natural granulization effect and some granulates faster than others. Uh, Brazilian pepper, for instance, granulates very fast. Uh, we don't have it here, but sunflower. Sunflower honey sets so hard that the bees cannot even use it. It's just solid. Does uh, that mean the honey is bad, or is it, is it just the natural process? Natural process, no. Uh, uh, honey never goes bad. Uh, they found honey in King Tut's tomb, 2,000 years old, still good. Um, since we do have our hives right here behind 14 green next to 15 T, should the golfers be concerned um, about the bees at all? Not at all. Uh, of course you don't want to walk right up to the boxes and knock on them and see if anybody's home. Um, a happy bee is a working bee and if a bee stings somebody it, it pulls its abdomen out. There's a barb connected to a worker bee's stinger and it'll pull the abdomen out and it will die. So a, uh, a, of course the bee doesn't want to sting you, it doesn't want to die. Um, if you happen to have one kind of buzzing around, let it, let it do its thing. Probably just checking you out. Perfect. As I mentioned, we offer the, uh, the honey here locally at the clubhouse. 
Um, what are the benefits the members would have by having the honey that comes directly from the golf course? Oof. Lots of good benefits. Uh, the holistic value of natural raw honey is, is, is very big. Um, plus having such a subclimate, enjoying the fruits of your nectar out of your own backyard. Uh, amazing. The doctor says uh, a teaspoon a day keeps the allergies away. So if you ever have anything that's kind of uh, affecting your sinuses, you want to target that bloom that time of year, uh, a tablespoon a day will help clear that away. All right, perfect. Well, that's an uh, introduction to Paul Shannon. Uh, we're going to have a couple more videos uh, following this one, um, possibly at a later date. But we're going to explain, we're going to get into the hive with Paul, see the actual bees working. Uh, he's going to also explain what is actually inside that green box back there. So stay tuned.